I want you to turn to the prophet Isaiah this morning. If you have the Word of God, the prophet Isaiah, chapter number 5. I want to bring the message that God has burned my heart with. I sure don't like to preach this way. I thought to myself, Lord, you surely don't mean this. Got to watching Fox News the other day and out of Hawaii come up yeah. molten lava out of that volcano. And I thought, hell, belching. Hell's a belching. Hell's filling up. But it's never getting full. Proverbs said, hell's enlarging itself. And it's never getting full. Oh, I, I, I don't know. I preach a lot of funerals. I preach to a lot of people. Hey, Amen. But I, I hear tell you, I ain't going to tell you that I ever know anybody that personally told me that they went to hell. I ain't going to say that, Brother Jerry. I ain't going to say that. Although their life, no doubt, they people went to hell that I preach to. No doubt there's somebody sitting in this building. Yeah. Right here this morning, that's going to hell. Yeah, yeah. Ain't no doubt in my mind. No, I thank God for my mama. My mama had a great part in keeping me out of hell. She did. She tried her best to pray for me. She tried her best to get me to God. She tried her best to make me go to church when I didn't want to go to church. So I bless the Lord for mama. Yeah, right. She. She fed me when I couldn't feed myself. She birthed me. She brought me into this world. And I thank God, hallelujah. I can't remember when I was born in 1953. Yeah. September the 9th. I can't remember that. But I can tell you when God uh, birthed me into the Aye. kingdom. Uh, 1981, April the 12th. Hell moved out and heaven moved in. Amen. Wow. Amen. Look in Isaiah 5. Let me read about three verses and bring the message. Isaiah 5, verse number 14. How many is there say, man? Amen. The prophet said, Therefore, hell hath enlarged herself and opened her mouth without measure and their glory and their multitude and their pomp and he that rejoice shall descend into it. And the mean man shall be brought down. And the mighty man shall be humbled. And the eyes of the lofty shall be humbled. I like this conjunction though. But the Lord of hosts shall be exalted in judgment. And God that is holy. How many times is He holy? He's holy in the Father. He's holy in the Son. He's holy in the Holy Ghost. Thank God He's holy. Shall be sanctified or set apart in righteousness. Let's pray as to the Lord's help. Father, I recognize Your Word and the truth that You burned my heart with. I understand, Lord, uh, uh, what it takes uh, uh, to preach this way. I, I don't want folk to go to hell, Lord. Uh, I ain't preaching God's life to. Uh, I'm preaching God the message uh, uh, that you give me, Lord. Uh, I don't understand everything, Lord. Uh, but I do understand uh, uh, God, you made a way out of hell. Uh, and it's through your son. Uh, and oh God, I know uh, uh, there's a little boy, a little girl, uh, a man or woman in the building. Uh, if they die right now, Lord, uh, uh, they'll go to hell. Uh, oh God, I pray, a uh, fresh breath from the Holy Ghost. I uh, uh, cleanse me of sin. I uh, uh, give me a fresh anointing, God. I uh, uh, make it easy for me. Uh, uh, just a few minutes uh, uh, to bring this word of God uh, and please Lord uh, uh, deal with the sinner Lord uh, uh, deal with that boy uh, uh, that's lost in their 
touch me in. I make it real, Lord. I shake them like you did me. I show them the way to Calvary. Oh, that they can be forgiven. I don't know, Lord, all together what you do in this service. But I show them want to be the man of God. As it was a dying man to a dying people. Help me now, Lord. Help me now. Give me power. I'm to preach a little bit. I'm careful to bless your name. And to praise you. And to give you glory for what you do. I'm for it in Jesus' name. And for it's sake I pray. Amen. And amen. And I want to preach on hell. As it enlarged itself this morning, every five seconds, uh, uh, somebody plunges off uh, in eternity without God. Uh, every five seconds, uh, uh, somebody uh, is going to hell. Hell has bounced down. Amen. And cried out uh, for the souls of men, uh, of women, boys, and girls. Uh, ain't much preaching on hell no more. I'm going to preach on and turn in his paper and can't preach on hell. I don't want to. I don't want you to go to hell. I'm going to tell you how to get out of hell. Yeah. I'm just more as Jesus said in Luke 12, 5, I fear him after he's killed has the power to cast into hell. I fear God today. He got the power at the cast in the hell. Amen. Revelation 21, 14. I death in hell. I was cast into the lake of fire brimstone. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse 15 said, Whosoever's name I was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire which is the second death. Woo! I'll never burn in the tall walls of the damned. Hell this morning. Where is hell, Brother Donnie? And the proverb writer said, a lie to the wise is above that he might depart from hell which he is beneath. Isaiah 14, 9. And the prophet said, these words hell from the need is moved for the day at thy coming hell is beneath us hell is spelting out as it's being filled uh, without measure hell has enlarged itself honey don't go to hell I'm here to tell you that the smart and hell is measured up on your soul this morning. I love what the Bible says. Hell's enlarged herself and opened her mouth without measure. Hell, honey, is wide open. Hell's wide open this morning. It's opened up. Honey, you don't have to do nothing to go to hell. I just keep living your life. I just keep sinning against God. You don't have to do nothing. But hell and destruction are never full. Never full. But one day heaven will be full. Everyone saved. Make up the bride. And the gates close. And no man can enter in. I'm here to tell somebody, hell is a real place. It's a place that's wide open. Of Romans 3 verse 10 said, There's none righteous, no, not one. There's none that seeketh after God. There's none that understandeth. Out of their mouths an open sepulchre. Their tongues is full of poison. Ain't no fear of God before their eyes. Hey man, ye had it quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins, walking according to the course of this world, according to the prince and power of the air. Honey, 
Faith's glad you'll never burn. Amen. But what Amen. the writer says, hell is wide open. It's wow. open. Her mouth without measure. I'm here to tell you, you can do what you want to do. You keep plenty, you keep cracking beer. You keep smoking dope, and that I'll send you to hell. You keep cussing. You keep leaving your wife. Hey, Proverbs 16, 25 said there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end there is way to death. Say, man, sin, you keep sinning, it'll, it'll, you'll die one day. Yeah. Hebrews 9, 27 said that appointed for man wants to die, and after this the judgment. Romans 5, 12, wherefore, I buy one man's sin in the world. I death by sin, so death passed upon all men. For all have sinned. Amen, Chad, we're all sinners. By nature, by choice, and by birth, praise God. And I sinned against God, and I deserve hell. Me and you all burn in a child But thank God for Jesus, hallelujah. Romans 6, 23, the wages of sin is death, but to give to God is eternal life yeah, through Jesus amen. Christ our Lord. Hell's wide open. Yeah. Say man my time. Sure. You keep going the way you're going. Where's hell, Brother Donnie? It's beneath us. Yeah. Hey man, it's a perfect. It's a bouncing up. That's hell fills up. Ladies and gentlemen, even the scientists proved that the sin of the earth's on fire and people don't believe it. Honey, there's a hell beneath you. And if you die without Jesus Christ, you'll spend eternity in that hell. Thank God, I'm on my help me keep, out of, keep me out of hell. But it took the blood of the Son of God. Hey, man, somebody holler amen. Hell, hell's where they're weeping and gnashing their teeth. It's outer darkness. If your hands feed you, if your foot feed you, if your eyes feed you, I get rid of it. Mark 9. Hell's where the worm dies not, and the fire is not quenched. It's everlasting, eternal fire. Amen. Wow. I'm glad, thank God, I ain't going to hell. Where is it? It's beneath us. Who's going there? Rich people go there. But I say he's pleasure seeking people go there. Yeah. Say man, yeah. I never seen the day of pleasure. Yeah. Thanks for seeking God for pleasure. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with a houseboat. Ain't nothing wrong with a fishing boat. Ain't nothing wrong with a shotgun or a golf club. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But when it takes you out of will, will of God, amen, there's something bad wrong with you. Somebody holler, amen. Yeah. Rich people howl and weep. They want more money in James chapter 5. And when they get more money, they want more money. More money and more money. I'd rather have Jesus than silver and gold. I'd rather have Jesus than riches untold. I'd rather have Jesus than all this. I'll tell you to God, amen. Who's going there? Rich people's going there. In Luke chapter 16, verse 22. Amen. Now, when the wife. When the beggar died, the angels carried him into the Abraham's bosom. And the rich man also died and was buried. And in hell, he lifted up his eyes, being in torment, cried out to Father Abraham, Have mercy. Oh, God, have mercy. Honey, I'm telling you, pleasure seeking people go to hell. Look who goes to hell, the palm. The multitudes. What Jesus say about it? Hey, I believe he's a good preacher, don't you? Amen. Hey, man, Matthew chapter 7, verse 13. He said, Enter in at the straight gate. How provide is the gate? And broad is the way that leads to destruction. And many go in there. Because straight is the gate and there is the way that leads to life. If you be there, that find it. I'm glad and I'm not you. I'm glad I'm in that whosoever. I'm glad my name's written in the Lamb Book of Life. I'm glad he's pinned down when the rose called up yonder. I'll be there. Amen. But have you ever seen the pleasure seeking bunch? I mean, Hebrews 11 25 said their pleasure in sin for how long? For a season. 
in this last little while. Right. Second Timothy 3. Matthew, when you're young, serve God. Remember your Creator. Yeah. Emily, remember the Creator in the days of thy youth. Make your call, let sure. Make sure you're born again. Yeah. And never go to jaw walls of hell. Right. I'm here to tell you who's going pleasure seeking people. Sure. Second Timothy 3. Verse number three said they're lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. They made everything. I mean, you just get a hold of this old flesh in this world. I mean, you'll want everything. But if you've got Jesus, you've got all you need, somebody holler, amen. amen. But look here, this is why I'm keeping people going to hell. Look at verse 15. And the mean man shall be brought down and the mighty shall be humbled and the eyes of the lofty shall be humbled. Have you ever seen such an unbelieving proud society? Oh, amen. Revelation 21 8. Who's in hell but fearful? The unbelieving. What does it take to go to heaven? You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Hi, John 3 36. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. He that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. I'm glad much more being justified by his blood. I'm saved from wrath through him. Hallelujah. I'll never go to hell. Hell's at large itself. It's beneath us. Where is it? Who's going there? The rich, the pleasure seeking, the proud going there. Amen. Pride keep you from going to Jesus this morning. Amen. Membership, what a baptism. Amen. I don't care how many times you've been dunked in the water. I don't care how many churches you've joined, you've joined up to. You must be born again. You've got to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You remember J.L. and you got out of hell. Hallelujah to God. And God in Christ. I'm here to tell you, honey, He is the only way out of hell. It's Jesus Christ. Somebody holler amen right there. I mean, the wrath of God, the wrath of God abides under all unrighteousness. I'm here to tell you, God don't mess around. I'm telling you, only through the blood of His Son Amen. can you escape hell. Right. We all deserve hell. Right. Yeah. Young deserve hell. Old deserve hell. Yeah. We all deserve yeah. to burn. Yeah. But thank God, hallelujah, God made a word out of hell. Yeah. Hey man, you got to humble yourself. Matthew 18, 4, Jesus said, if you'll humble yourself as this little child and be converted, you've got to be like a little child. Honey, you've got to get down here and humble yourself. Pride's got full. Pride go full destruction. Holy Spirit before fall. Proverbs 6, verse number 6. Yea, the Lord hates six times. Seven is abomination. And number one is a proud look. A proud look. We're in a selfish society. And I'm here to tell somebody, hell's enlarged itself. Good God Almighty. Humble yourself before the mighty yeah. hand of God. Right. Amen. Humble. God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Amen. Who's going to hell? Them that's unbelieving. Them that's ungodly. Yes. Psalm 9, 17, The wicked shall be turned into hell, and all nations that forget God. 2 Thessalonians chapter number 5, chapter number 1, verse number 8, verse 7, plain and fire. Taking vengeance on them that know not God and obey not the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ shall be punished with an everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and the glory of His power. I'm here to tell you, friend, hell's real. Hey, Amen. It's opened its mouth wide. You keep living for the devil and the flesh in the world till God go to hell. Oh, I don't want you to. I don't want you to. You've got to humble yourself. You remember when you humbled yourself? Mama couldn't get me down. Daddy couldn't get me down. My wife couldn't change me. But one day, the Holy Ghost, son, in that about midway to that little old country church, I'll never forget the day when God, the Holy Ghost, got a hold of my heart. I mean, He drew me with the great anointed power. I tell you, Jesus said in John 12, 32, He said, If I 
If I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men. I'm telling you, no man can come to me, Jesus said, except the Father which sent me, draw him, John 6, 44. One day the Holy Ghost, I, he was waiting on me at Druid Hill Baptist Church. I, I come in that building, honey. I was totally depraved. I, I was headed for hell. I never shall forget the blessed day when the Holy Ghost I, I drew me with great power and I got up out of my sin and got holy before God, Almighty God. Hell has lost itself for who would deny the blessed Lord Jesus. Say amen right there. How many remember when you got born again? Amen. I'm telling you, it's just not joining the church. I'm preaching so much going to hell this morning. You remember when that fire scene, that publican went down, they went down to church in Luke 18. That old fire scene, it's one of pride, religion. Uh, look at me, I give my tithes. I go to church every Sunday. Look at me, I'm proud. Fire seed, but that old pope in verse 13, yeah. he smote his breast. Yeah. He couldn't even look up. He said, God, be yeah. merciful to me, a sinner. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. And the Bible says he went down to his house, justified. Yeah. And God said, He that humbled himself shall be exalted. Yeah. Honey, God lifted me up out of the mighty yeah. pit, put my foot on the rock, established my going. Put a new song in my heart. Even praise to our God. Amen. Praise to Amen. 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 Who's going there? The rich and the proud. Amen. The good people's going to hell. Good people's going to hell. You can be as good as you want to. Get in two shoes. You can do all but it ain't going to get you a dime worth anything. But I want you to notice verse 16. I'll be done. I'll be done this morning. The way out of hell. I want to give you the way out. I showed you the way. Hell's beneath us where it is. Who's going there? I want to give you the way out. How many glad there's a way out? Somebody holler, amen. There's a way out. Glory to God. Look what he said in verse 16. How many glad the Lord buddy did? I love that conjunction word. Whether it means what you think it means or not, makes no difference. For one day, I was going that way, and God let it in, and I repented of my sin, and I turned, hallelujah, and I went towards God. Woo! Notice number one. Hey, he's the way out because he's the Lord of hosts. How many believe he's Savior? How many believe he took a Savior to get us out of hell? Hallelujah to his name. I bless his name that a Savior came so far away. I descended, came down, and died on the cross. Somebody holler, amen. When, in Genesis 18, when God saw the sin of Solomon, he saw and he cried out. And Abraham said, Oh God, shall the judge of all the world do right? Shall not the judge of all the earth do right? God does right. Say amen right there. And Abraham, if they fifty, would you spare the city? Oh yeah. Was they forty? God spare the city. God on down to thirty. Yeah. God spare the city. How about ten? And Abraham walked away. God walked away. Hey man, there's only one in Sodom that was right with God, but God spared the city from. He didn't spy the city, did he? He burned it with tall walls and brimstone. I'm here to tell you, God is a long-suffering Savior. I'm glad He waited on me. 2 Peter 3, 9. The Lord's not slack. I'm concerned His promise as some men count slackness, but long-suffering towards us. I'm not willing that any should perish. But all should come to repentance. Woo! I'm glad he stretched yeah. out his hands. Yeah. In Romans 10 21. Yeah. All day long, he stretched out his hands to the rebellious and against sin people. He don't want you to go to hell. God's not pleased with the death of the wicked. God wants you to get saved this morning. Oh, I'm preaching to somebody that's going to hell this morning. 
don't die. And you see him, there's a way out. He's called the Savior of the world. I'm how many is glad he went to an old rugged cross? How many is glad he, he paid it all? Somebody holler, amen. He paid it all, Brother Larry. Amen. How God shall be exalted. When was he exalted in his judgment? 2,000 years ago on an old rugged cross how God judged the sins of the world and He put my sin and He put your sin on His darling Son and He died the death of all death. He said it is finished. Amen. Woo! I'm glad He took my judgment. What a Savior. What a Lord. First Peter 2, 24 to His own sin by our sins in His own body on the tree that we be made to sin. I should live under rights by our stripes with Him. And that Isaiah 53, 4, surely it borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. How we esteemed Him strength and strength of God and afflicted. But He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. And with His stripes we're healed. How many glad for the old Roman cross that our Savior died on? What a Savior. What a Savior. What a Savior. The way out of hell is through the Lord of hosts. He's the Savior of the world. Well, I'm glad, Brother Larry. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. He's one to be saved this morning. Hell's enlarged itself. But there's a way out of hell. We used to play that Monopoly game. You get a jail. Get out a jail free card. I ain't played that in a long time. But the game of life, friend. If you keep going the way you're going, you don't have to do nothing. Go to hell. But thank God there's a get out of hell free card. It don't cost you nothing, praise God. God put it into my life. When he put in, Brother Donnie, in Ephesians 2, 4, but God who is rich in mercy, where in His great love, where in He loved us. Romans 5, verse 8, but God commended His love towards us in the while we were yet sinners. Christ died for us. Amen. Verse 13, Ephesians 2, said, but now you who are sometimes afar off are made nigh. By the blood of Jesus Christ. Somebody holler hallelujah. Hell's the Lord is My sister passed away and I'll be done with it. My sister passed away three years ago. And when she went home to be with the Lord, she is saved. Me and Carolyn. Stood over a bill, over a bed, Brother Bill. And my sister took her last breath. She went, She's gone. She's gone. And that nurse, we've been familiar, them nurses were gracious and kind. She loved God. She said, Brother Donnie, you ought to jump up and shout around this room. Cause there ain't no screaming and tormenting. Cause of hell in this room. She said, I've stood over men. That scream. Daughter, get me out of this place. My feet's on fire. I'm burning. She said, I have not nerves right now. Because she stood over the bed and lost me. Oh, Vitale, that atheist, the nurse stood over him and he screamed in torments because he died without God. And he went to hell. You know now they pump you full of drugs. Most of the time you don't even know you're in your right mind. But I'm hell to tell you, you better get her nailed down this morning. Because hell's enlarged it, Say amen right there. Where is it beneath? Who's going there? The pleasure, the proud, the good, and the ugly. They're all going there. But notice lastly, and I'll be done. And God, not only is He the Lord of hosts, but notice the last part, and God that is holy. Oh, somebody said He's holy. How many times is He holy? Isaiah said the 
the angels bowed and said, Holy, holy, holy. He's holy in the Father. He's holy in the Son. He's holy in the Holy Ghost. Hebrews 12, 14, Follow peace and holiness whereby no man shall see God. Honey, He's a holy God. He saved us with a holy salvation. He called us with a holy calling. Amen. 2 Timothy 1 verse 9 Who has saved us and called us with a holy calling. Amen. Not of our works, but by His grace. Amen. I got a little holiness in me. Yeah. I believe every saved born again person ought to have a little Jesus in them. Amen. Amen. You ought to have a little Jesus in you. God, but my mama always will live holy. My mama got saved in the holiness church. She told me that Wednesday night. Can I repeat myself this one more time? Got in that little Toyota truck heading home. Mama said, I saved in Hiawatchee Church of God, son. And she named the preacher. I can't remember his name. She said, I had on this flirty dress. And said, he named the preacher that... She used to hold the babies while them women get sanctified and full of the Holy Ghost. She had her while they rolled down the aisle. I've seen it all, and I ain't making fun of them. That's what they wanted to do. They some saved Church of God. Oh yeah. But they, yeah, boy. But she said she named all that, and I said, "Well, Mom, why'd you tell me that? I know what you're saying." She said, "I don't know, son. That's the last words I have of my mama. She left me that testimony." One day I'll see her again. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to heaven. How about you? And it's a holy call because He's the Holy God. 1 Peter 1 16, God said, Be ye holy, for I am holy. He's a holy God. How are you going to get to Jesus? You've got to come by His Son. Hell's enlarged itself. How about you this morning? Are you saved? Can I ask you a personal question? We stand together all over the building. As you stand with me, I want you to reflect back in your mind when God saved you. And if you'll finish that verse with me, He said, He's holy, shall be sanctified in righteousness. That word sanctified means set apart. There's just one God. How many believe so? Amen. Buddha's not God, Buddha's dead. Amen. Muhammad's dead, Islam's dead. There's one God. Amen. One God. Amen. Paul made it clear, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5. There's one God. What mediator between God and man? Yes. The man Christ Jesus. It's your heart. One day he got a hold of my hand. Pull me out of here. Oh, He's out of here. Who's going? And where is it? Hells and hearts, it's safe. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Please, God, take my little feeble effort. God, I sure didn't want to preach this way. I sure didn't want to preach on hell. But God, you showed me my prayer time. You showed me my study. There will be a church person that's going to hell. They're not saved. They're really not saved, Lord. You said there'd be a little boy, a little girl, maybe. Not saved. And they're going to hell. God, I sure don't want to go. And I know you don't, Lord. But I plead, God, for old time conviction now.